It's not the neatest, but it'll do, right? That'll do. So that's going to let us take traffic through there. It'll let us have traffic, like, leave the city from this side. We can then, like, take this over onto that island. I like it. I like it a lot. And then we can do, like, industry done in here, which I think we're going to need. So let's, uh, we have some money. Let's start building just, like, a big... Could do like a grid thing in here. I kind of have an idea though. So let me go... 20, the whole way across here and into there. Let me do... Big old avenue. And then like here, I want to go... I want to go this way with this part. Traffic lights are going to cause traffic issues. Yeah, they probably will. We can sort those later on though. I don't think that's something to uh, to deal with immediately. But what I'm thinking... Is that I want to sort of have this be a different angle here. So that's almost 10, so that should probably be about there. And then that's pretty good. Okay! So yeah, that's going to be spaced a little differently to everything else, but that's not too big of a deal. I like that. Mixed farming slash forestry industrial area, says Bobbin. Maybe? Um, I think generic industry might be the way to go right now, though. Until we get, like, super high population and super high money, I think generic industry is probably the way to go. What distance is this? 3,200 worth? Okay. So we want to go 3,200 worth off of here. Which is there. Yeah, I like that. We can do some stuff in these spaces as well to fill those up. Um, I think what I'll do is... I don't know if I want to go straight through with these... I almost prefer the idea of doing this, where they're, um... Oh! Oh dear. Okay. Um, I kind of prefer the idea of leaving, um... I guess I'll do this. Like, leaving it as a dead end. I think that's gonna be better. Because then traffic kind of has to uh, use the the main roads. And I don't even need an old time policy to force them onto it. So I think I think that'll be good. Uh, we can bring that straight down through again. And then we'll continue it later on. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Um, I am going to need to set districts up. I also need to increase my public transport. Because we haven't done that in a while. We also need to set this as a new district as well. But we'll do districts uh, shortly. I'm actually thinking I might do... I might do offices. What's our education looking like? Decent. Elementary education is... Oh, we've got a level 3 park. Nice. Uh, elementary schools could do with a bit of an upgrade. Actually, would it not be a better idea to increase our budget for those things? So, like, increase education budget to 150%, and then suddenly our capacity should go up considerably higher, right? Also, everybody's getting sick. Oh, I have not been paying attention to garbage. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I... I may have forgotten the fact that when you're emptying uh, landfill sites, that's, that kind of becomes the priority of, uh, of, of all your garbage stuff. Oh dear. We'll um figure that out. Is what we'll do. Let's also just do a bunch of a uh, bunch of offices in there. That'll be a pretty good spot for it. We'll do a nice amount of commercial, I think, here. And a nice amount of commercial here. And then we'll do some down the sides as well, and then fill the middle with uh, residential. In fact, down the middle here as well. Let 
Yeah, I like that. That'll be good. They're gonna need pipes. That's also not gonna build for a while. That whole area, but that's fine. I'm not too worried about it not building immediately. Because it looks like I'm gonna need to deal with a few problems across the city before we even, uh... We even get near building that. Is it there I did the pipe? Right there, apparently. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be fun. Um, I do want to get industry in here somewhere. I might actually end up doing it on, like, this side over by the water. We'll see. At least these offices are building. That's going to be something to deal with, uh, to deal with some demand. I also really want to see how traffic gets on in this area once we have people really moving in here. I think the junctions are probably going to need stop signs. And then here could probably be the same. To be honest, this entire bit through here should probably be upgraded to, uh, to an avenue. In fact, I'm thinking we're going to go for a tree line the whole way through there. And then we'll change out the zoning as well to be high density commercial. So we'll see if that works. We'll see if that plays out. You guys don't have power. I might need to, um, I'm going to need to go into the gameplay settings here because I actually kind of need it to show me the far away notifications because that's why I didn't see any of that. That'll be why I didn't see any of the complaints. And I can't, I can't do much. I mean, we need to wait for the landfills to empty regardless. I could just turn them off, I guess. I don't think that stops them from emptying, though. Because it's not a traffic issue. Like, traffic's moving. If we have a look, it's 88%. It's possibly the best traffic I've ever had. So we kind of, we, we are kind of just waiting on the, the landfills emptying. Which I think they have, um, I think they have actually stopped because I've turned them off. So this might be, uh, this might be beneficial to us. This might actually be, uh, it looks like the garbage trucks are starting to head out. So we might actually start seeing the garbage problem disappear. And I think it is. That's pretty much, that's pretty much the issue. Like garbage trucks get held up doing, um emptying stuff when uh when you say empty the uh the the landfills that's pretty much what happened they just they kind of get held up you can't really help it unfortunately it's it's a bit of a pain but no worries we'll figure it out it's it's sorted it's fine totes okay i'm also going to say i'm so glad I didn't do the usual battery start of like the one way road and then the other one way road coming back. I'm glad I kind of went with the uh, with the avenues because it means I don't have to change this about later and kind of feck with it. Yeah, feck. I can say that. I'll allow, I'll allow that. Um, I say that garbage is actually not it, no, it is being handled. Let's just build a new industrial zone. Let's let's start putting a new industrial zone in here because this is uh, it's a little bit out of hand. Um, what are we gonna do with it? Where are we gonna put it? I could do like a little off ramp style thing here, kind of the opposite of what we have on this side. And then do industry over here. I think we will. I think we will do that. Although that's making me think this road should be an avenue, which I guess it could be. Yeah, that'll work. Whatever. Um, let's continue straight through if we can. We cannot. So we want to go... So that's in line. Let's just go there. So that, that's pretty good. And then, perfect. Alright, that'll work really nicely. 
So yeah, that'll give us room to do the ramps and all that stuff. Might have to raise this all up, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Let's also not forget to do a bunch of junction work here, because we need to um, have stop signs in all these roads. We don't need uh, we don't need traffic lights. They're all dead end roads. They're not super. Uh, they're not going to be super intense with uh, with traffic. I think here we could probably do the same thing. That will need stop signs, but the rest of it not so much. Uh, the same in here. Going to be stop signs on the uh, on the side roads. Just so we can keep traffic moving. And then this is actually going to need traffic lights now. Because that's a pretty major road. Up here, not so much. Up here, not so much either. But that intersection should definitely have them. And it actually looks like, uh, yeah, garbage has been dealt with. Nice. Let's get some increased health care, though, because it's pretty bad in this area. Let's actually go for a hospital. And I'm going to go for the European-style one because I haven't... Uh, I haven't done anything with it in a while. Hmm. Where do I want to put this? I kind of want to put it over here, I think. I like the idea of over here. Sort of looking over the... Ooh, what about there? Looking out over the highway? It's kind of a cool spot. Oh, I like that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. That's so many ambulances. Oh, God. And they're all back already. <sighs> Apparently, we really needed that. And they're way they go again. All right. Good Lord. Fair enough. That's that's a lot, is what that is. Uh, fire coverage in this area is going to be quite rough. Sewage is also quite rough as well. Let's do a uh, let's do a large fire station, and I think we'll do it at one of the dead end roads. So let's do it uh, in there. And policing as well is going to be pretty tough down here. So let's do a large police headquarters and do it on uh, one of those roads as well. So we'll throw it in there. And that'll be pretty good for us. Sewage is kind of an issue. Do we have the uh, the large thing yet? We absolutely do not. So let's just expand uh, this that way. I love it being on a slope. I love it being on a slope. I do. It's just my favorite thing. It's just lovely. It's just great. Oy, not a fan. Not a fan. Um, we'll space those out. That should be more than enough for uh, for that issue. Do we have water problems? We do not. Good. All right. So you guys have got your sewage. This is actually building up a lot quicker than I thought it would. I'm going to be honest. That's building up so much quicker than I thought it would. I thought it would just like sit there empty for the most part. But apparently, uh, once we get garbage sorted, they're like, oh, mate, let's go. So that's lovely. Uh, traffic's also kind of holding pretty well, too. 91% traffic flow. 90, 90%. 91% traffic flow. I'm not saying I'm a god. But I'm not saying I'm not one either. Alright? I'm just throwing that out there. We're aiming for 105% traffic flow. All right? That's what we're aiming for. Uh, Furkan says, that's good, but low population. Let's check again after plus 50k. <laughs> oh, man. This is usually where it falls apart, by the way. Like, this is usually the stage when, when traffic flow just goes, like, down the drain. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, man. Um, I want to do no parking on the main streets. Well, no, it doesn't really make a difference. It doesn't really make a difference. It's fine. Um, see, this is what's going to start causing our traffic to suffer. This little part here. That's going to be the bit that brings the average way down. But that's fine. Um, what are the complaints here? 
Not enough educated workers. Okay, we can do more. Ooh, we are gonna need to do more. Um, let's do an elementary school in there. That helped a little bit. Let's do an elementary school in there. And that'll help a little bit more. Let's do an elementary school there. And that'll help. Um, high schools, we're gonna need one of those in this area. So let's do... Let's do in there. And that'll provide really good coverage for that space. Universities are something I'd like to do something with. Like, I'd like... Oh, we could do like a big university campus right there. How much are these per week, by the way? One thought. Oh, we can afford two of them. Boom. Boom. Done. Done. Not bad. That's going to look fantastic. They also don't have water. Oh, wah. I don't have water again. Wah. Re. It's all I ever hear. It's all I ever hear in city skylines is I don't have water. I don't have water. Can you, ima can you imagine, like... <laughs> oh, man. I like that, though. That'll look pretty good. I think this is going to be like a big university area. I think that'll look, uh, I think that'll look good. Um, we do need more garbage disposal. Although I think it's only falling apart because this has been switched back on. So I think we'll give it a break for a minute. And we'll see what happens. We will, uh, we'll definitely see. We actually have pretty serious demand for housing. Um, I'd kind of like to see if I can do, like, faculty buildings and stuff in and around, ugh, in and around here. Almost went full Kermit the Frog with the voice there. I'd like to see if I can do uh, faculty buildings in and uh, around here. I uh, think that would look really good. Um, Yeah, I think a path down there is going to be the way to go. Ooh, road guidelines working for me really nicely there. All right, can I get that to connect at all? I totally can, nice. I think that looks all right. I wanna just uh, rotate it so it actually has all the lights on the same side, but there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Um, I'd like them to be able to walk off the path. Uh. <laughs> Which apparently I can do as well. All right. Okay. Vanilla City Skylines, by the way. Vanilla City Skylines, by the way. That's not bad. That's actually... I'm actually kind of impressed. Didn't know I could do that. Okay, I'm right. Didn't think it would let me do it, but I I like it a lot. Okay, I'm 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 sort of lost for words. I didn't realize it would actually let me away with that. I think that's too many. I like it. That looks pretty good. Um, so that's gonna be our main university campus, which has a pretty pretty good capacity of eleven thousand two hundred and fifty people. I don't think we're gonna be needing to upgrade that for a while. Uh, now this is empty. We can demolish it at long last and throw some uh, some industry in there. And then we'll let the garbage trucks go and collect everything for a little bit before we start emptying the other one again. Uh, as for out front, should we start doing metro? We could start doing metro. It's 15,000 per station though, which seems a little expensive. We also haven't expanded our bus line in a while. We probably want to do that. Let's um, let's adjust the bus line. Bus bus line. Got it. Nailed it. Um, so that loops around really nicely. Let's do a stop here. And let's start going in the opposite direction. 
So we'll sort of go like this. And we'll see if that kind of helps people sort of get around the other way. I mean, it should. So there we go. That one can loop that way. And then... I think we'll start, like, going this way. So we can come up here. We can actually have that sort of share that stop. I think I'd rather have it go one stop earlier, though. So they can, like, cross the street to get to the other stop. Then come down. Then it's going to have to go across this um, this bridge. That's okay. And then just loop it around, I guess. Oh, no, it should go here as well. It should absolutely go there. And then just the other way, right? So just kind of back on itself. I don't know if we... We don't really need to do this. We don't really need it to loop back on itself. But I'm going to do it anyway. So, yeah, that'll kind of work. Magnum says, don't make them go in the same street. It's going to block the traffic. Um, I'll keep an eye on it, on it and see what happens. It should be okay. Oh, we're a big city. I don't know what that sign was. That was like my old lady voice. Oh, uh, we got another tile though. Okay. Um, let's grab that island. Mikael says, orange line is going to the wrong side of the street. Is it? Um, no, they're, they're sort of going in the opposite directions, aren't they? Yeah, orange line is going, uh, they're, they're sort of going in opposite directions of each other. This one's just a bit awkward because of the turn that it has to make, which I don't like. Can I fix that? Yeah, let's just do that. So they're not directly opposite each other. Kind of fixes that a little bit. Oh, yeah, that is blocking traffic. That'll hopefully fix itself, though, once, um... Hold on. Let me, um... Let me shuffle this. So, move you there, and we could probably delete that stop. So that there's just a little bit more room. Because that's a, that's a very small street for a lot of, um... For a lot of traffic. I also don't have any... I don't have districts done properly yet. And I don't have old time policies in any of this yet. So, definitely going to want to do some stuff there. I'm also thinking that this should probably be an avenue. Because this is one big road down there. And this is also going to have to be cut right there. So, we'll see if that works out. Let's do a district over here. Which we could make look a little... We, we can make it a bit bigger with a bigger brush. But I think this will be fine. We don't need to... I don't think I need to go too crazy with districts. Since I'm not doing like any themes with them yet. So I don't need them to be exactly right, like, over the side here. Um, so yeah, that'll be Robin Heights. I think across the street should be Robin Heights as well. Then cut that bit down the middle. Cut that bit there. Or rather, bring that down. So that looks alright. That's That's Robin Heights. Uh, down here is going to be split into uh, two separate districts as well. I think I'm actually going to take the district onto the highway. Okay, if I could get the district right, that'd be lovely. We'll take it onto the highway so I can cut it off a little bit easier and have it be a bit neater. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Sandy Ravage is asking, if you don't mind me asking, why did you turn off the comments in YouTube? Sorry if you've answered it before. Well, actually, um... This, this is probably a good spot to answer that question, what with this sort of being recorded. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you've been wondering this, then here's your answer. If you're watching on Twitch and you've been wondering, then again, here's your answer. Um, basically, um, the comments on YouTube are, are essentially turned off because of the way people tend to act in uh, certain parts of the community. And for the most part, the community is great, right? This isn't, I, I'm not going to sit here and like badmouth the community that has literally changed my life. Because without all of, um, 
without all of you that watch, this channel wouldn't exist in the way that it does. My job wouldn't be what it is, and I wouldn't have the life that I have. It is largely thanks to all of you. So badmouthing you and calling you a bunch of whatevers is a terrible idea. And it's just not true, right? But there is a group of people that are subscribed on YouTube who believe they have some kind of ownership over the channel that they frankly don't have. Um, whilst I cannot begin to thank all of you enough for the support that the channel gets and for literally changing my life, that doesn't mean that you own my channel. I have a responsibility to my community and I, I am more than happy to take feedback from that community and I, I love getting feedback and I, I get it on Reddit, I get it on Discord, I get it on Twitter, but that doesn't give you ownership of my channel, right? With YouTube, it was getting more and more and more, uh, more often, more more common that I would go in the comments of a foundation video or a, uh, what else, a Tropico video, I suppose, or whatever we were doing a couple of months ago. And the comments would just be, where's City Skylines? Or if it was a Tropico video or a Factory Time video, it'd be, where's Foundation, right? And I looked at it from the point of view of, of people that really like those games and like those series. Imagine you're a really big fan of, um, of Foundation and you don't really like My City Skylines content. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but you're a, you say you're a big fan, you feel like you're a part of the community, and then you go in the comments on your favorite series... And you're seeing at the top of every comment section, where's this, where's that, where's the other? It's never talking about the game that you're really interested in. So suddenly, the people that actually want to talk about the video that they're watching is... They're, they're, gonna, they're not going to bother, right? They're not going to say anything about the video they're watching because their comment is going to get buried underneath people that are just going to say, where's City Skylines? Where's Foundation? Where's this? Where's that? So there was less and less of a conversation happening in the comments. I was going and reading them less often. And when I did read them, I was getting disheartened because I, I've done 400 videos in City Skylines and I'm playing it here and I'm enjoying it. But there, there comes a time with City Skylines or any game that I'm going to be like, I don't really want to play this anymore. I'm kind of done with it. Um, and it's like, you know, I want to take a break from it. So, but... I, I'm the kind of person that I, I really struggle to latch on to positive feedback and that's a character flaw that I'm, I've had my whole life and that's a character flaw that I'm, I'm trying to deal with and I'm trying to work through. Um, but it is something that I've, I've always had and that I've always known I have and with that in mind, it suddenly becomes very difficult to see value in the work that I do. And this, this is very much on me. It's not necessarily anyone's fault, but it becomes very difficult for me to see value in work that wasn't just City Skylines, right? Like, I'd sit down and play a game that I'm super excited about, right? I'd sit down and play Foundation or Factory Town or whatever. But in the back of my head, there's a little voice that's going, no one's going to watch this. All the comments are going to be, where's City Skylines, right? It's like, why play this game when it only gets like 2,000 views when City Skylines will get you like 20 or 30? Um, and I don't, I don't, I don't want it to be about the views. I don't want it to be about the money. I don't want it to be, I don't, I, if we never get a million subscribers, so what? If we never have another vi video hit a million views, so what? Other people are getting more views doing this, that, and the other, so what? Like, there are a million jobs out there that are just for a paycheck. I don't ever want this to be that kind of job. I don't want to wake up and be like, I don't want to go to work today, but I have to get paid. There's a million jobs that I could do just for a paycheck. I don't, like, I didn't start doing this just for a paycheck. I'm never going to do this just for a paycheck. Because at that point, I've lost the reason I even started. Some people do, and that's fine. Some people do. If some people just do this for a paycheck because it's easier than some other things, that's fine. But that's basically it, and that's why. Because in my own head, I'm starting to question the work I'm doing because of all these comments. And we're seeing less of a discussion about other games, and we're just seeing less positivity in the YouTube comments. So I figured, turn them off, point people to Twitter, point people to Reddit, point people to Discord. We, we can control the conversation a lot better there anyway. We can actually moderate it. So, we can make sure people aren't getting shut down because they want to talk about Foundation. Like, in a channel on my Discord server, there's been a couple of people that are playing Foundation and... 
uh, they're giving us like updates every other day about how their save's going. You know what I mean? And I love that. You wouldn't get that on YouTube. So that's that's kind of where I'm at, man. Like, that's that's why the comments are off, and that's why they're not being turned on because I've been trying for the past month or two to be a little bit more positive, and I think if I turn the comments back on, I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'll just go straight back into being so cynical. And I got so cynical this past year, and I'm still working on it. And I'm still having... There's still moments where I, I falter and I tweet stuff I shouldn't tweet or I say stuff I shouldn't say. Um, but I'm working on it, you know? And I am not turning... I don't... I, I do not care. Like, I, I fully imagine this video is probably going to get disliked out the ass, man, when it goes out. I don't care. Like... You can, you can dislike, you can demonetize, you can do whatever you want to do, right? Here's the be-all, end-all of this conversation. This is the last thing I'm going to say on it. I could put out two City Skylines videos every day. I could probably be about three or four or five times more wealthy than I currently am. And I don't really think of myself as wealthy to begin with, right? But I could. If I did that, if I did nothing but City Skylines... I'd make a lot more money than I do. But there is no point in being rich if you're miserable. There's no point. I'd rather be comfortable and happy than filthy stinking rich and bloody miserable.